First of all, I took your uh, data and I went to your information and so that I could keep the integrity of your information, I just copied yours. Then I started a new sheet and I copied yours into my sheet. Then I pasted your data into my new spreadsheet and to the left you see I numbered everything. I did that by putting the number, um, title, and then one, and then I made a formula saying one plus the one on top, meaning one plus one, and it'll add all the way down. After that, I copied the whole thing, and I pasted the actual value. You do that by saying control C, alt E for ed uh, edit, and then you put in the letter V, and hit enter and it gives you the actual value of the formula. So the formula is gone but the value is there. That's important because the work we do afterwards that information has to be there. Next I move over to the right and I get a formula that gives me the right six characters of your address. Now, I'm just going to call your data the address. So I grab the um, zip codes. Now I use six rather than five because you might have had um, you might have had a space at the end which would have added to the time the space. So I grabbed them all and then I said I went over to the G column and I said, give me the left side of the address minus the length of the data that's in F. I could have said just minus five or minus six, but I'm just showing you the whole formula. So the length of what's in B minus the length of what's in F, and I want that data, and it gave me all of that information. And so now you see in column G, it has all of the address information minus the zip code. That's it. Now I'm going to organize them. I'm going to grab everything, and I'm going to sort them by the zip code from column F. There's no title there, but I still put that it has headers. And I said from column F, that way all of the same cities will be in the same spot. And now you see that the columns have been sorted by the zip code. The number on the left is where they originally were, but that's okay because I can put them back in order after the fact. The next thing I do is I go to the column uh, K there and I'm saying I want the right part, the right side of whatever is in column G and a certain number. But if you notice, I have to know what the number is for um, the information to be grabbed off. Mir Loma is the first information. So I'm going to guess at that number, and I'm, a, I'm assuming I put in something like 10 or 11. So watch for a moment. <clears throat> yeah, I put in 10, and it said, basically, give me the right 10 uh, characters of that information. And then I went below that and I said, copy the first, the one above it. So it's going to, it's going to go down all the way. And now I have to go by the different cities. And then this is where you do it piece by piece. 
You see Indio is only five characters, so I marked that one. But the next one is Palm Desert. So I marked that one around 10 or 11. And there you go. And so, and so on and so on. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just doing as much as to show you exactly what I do. Okay, so there's all the information. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to organize the information a little bit better. I'm going to copy the left part of G. I'm going to say, give me that information from G, the left part of it, equaling the length of that column, minus the length of the column in K, and it'll strip off as much information as is listed in K. So therefore, that address will come out without the mirror loma. And I do the same thing for the rest. I just copy that all the way down. Understand now, I'm not doing your whole data here because then I have to go through piece by piece with every city. And now I'm saying just give me that information so it looks right. So I have now the address, the city, and the zip code on columns M and N. I just copy that. And after that, I did the same thing that I did originally. I took this information, and I'm not going to show you this part, but I just took this information, I copied it, and I went to your uh, sp spreadsheet, and I pasted the value of it. Again, study this picture. You copy, and then you go to the edit, and then you say V for value, and then you paste it in. And that is how you get the actual f uh, values of your data into your own spreadsheet. That's it. Hope this helps.